I don't know about Bill Cosby, but I'm not his judge. And there's no, there's haven't even even charges filed against him. And probably won't be. No, of course not. You can't prove any of this. They're destroying this man. Now, maybe he did it. Maybe he didn't. But you don't have a right to do what is, I believe, what is happening to this guy at this point without some sort of defense. Where do you go to get your, your credibility back? Where do you go to get your name back? You don't. You yeah, have nothing else. Look at the way you just said it. Maybe he did it. Maybe he didn't. Now, wait a minute. This guy is has been a beloved He's person beloved. for all this time. No I, one ever I, took these things seriously until a comedian started talking about it. And now we're to the point where we have to say maybe he did it, maybe he didn't. Do you know? Do you know? What about presumed innocence? Do you know that? I want you to listen. And this has happened to me. There, this the, 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 Journalism is the most dishonorable, dishonest, callous, cynical, mean, stupid people how many times? An industry I have ever seen. How many times have you been promised? Oh, All yeah, this is going to be... All the time. Oh, no, we're not, I this did is not a Katie got you for, interview. I did oh, Katie geez. Couric a favor. Yeah. They begged me at the height. They begged me. I said, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. My press agent, please, Glenn, I know Katie. She needs this. It will help her. No, I'm not going to do it. I know what she's going to ask. She's not going to ask. I've got my... Uh, she's given her word. Her word's not worth anything more than anybody else's in this business. She's given her word, Glenn. I promise you. And what she happened? Did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Again, and I just, I'm not, I'm not answering you. I'm not answering you. All I could think of was, you are so dishonorable. You are so unbelievably dishonorable. I'm doing you a favor. And you couldn't go there because you'd already been there. Yeah, and it's just already, so we'd already hashed and rehashed and gone down the same matter. road. It doesn't matter. And but, so this is, th but it's a good setup for this because yeah. the same thing happened here. And when I listened to this, I remembered, you know, the you know the picture that that is me on the Time magazine cover. I didn't know I was going to be on the cover of Time magazine until it came out. I found out by watching. I had Bank of TV is on in my office, and MSNBC had the picture of me on Time magazine. And I look up, and I thought it was mock. I thought it was something that I didn't think. Photoshop. I, the, the, yeah. I thought it was Photoshop. I'm on the cover of Time Magazine? I'm not on the cover of Time Magazine. Wait a minute. How'd they get that picture? Because I know who took that picture. That picture was taken for an article that was going to be done in GQ Magazine. And what they said was, Glenn, we're going to do, a, we're going to do an article on you, and we're going to do it on um, your stage shows. And so... We're going to use we're going to use the masks, the laugh and the cry. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yes, we are. I looked at this photographer and I said, "Look, you're an artist, and in my own way, I'm an artist. There's got to be some intellectual honesty here. I'm willing to go out on a limb if you're being honest with me." Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely, sure. How naive you were in those How days. How stupid. Okay, well, you got to put some Vicks underneath your eyes to make yourself. She said, "Can you can you make yourself cry?" And I said, "Can I make what? Can I make myself cry? No, I can't make myself cry. If I can make myself cry, I demand an Oscar right now. You think I'd be doing this for this amount of money? <laughs> if I can make myself cry, I'd go in the movies. Oh, you will just put some Vicks on. You ever seen anything? Do Google search Glenn Beck and Vicks. How Glenn Beck puts Vicks? It comes from this because this woman who completely dishonorable." She's putting this on because she's trying to get this picture for GQ magazine. And I said to her at the end, look, I really respect you. You're a very good photographer. Please. I'm asking you to be honorable. Oh, absolutely, Mr. Beck. And you are just, uh, you know, I, I don't know what people think about you, but I know what I believe. Within a half hour of her leaving my office, she was online saying, I got him. She released all of this stuff. She completely spun it. And that was a, when when I first sat down. She said, "I just need to take a picture. I just I just need to just checking the lighting. Just look over here. Just any expression at all." And I stuck my tongue out at her. That was the cover of Time Magazine. <laughs> that was the cover of Time Magazine. So dishonorable, and it's it's one after another after another after another. They'll say one thing to you, and then they'll do the exact opposite, because all they care about is ratings, clicks, money. That's all they care about. And it's dishonorable. Now listen to what happened to Bill Cosby. He's with the Associated Press. You should be ashamed of yourself. He's with the Associated Press. 
The interview is over. The cameras are still rolling. He's taking off his mic, and it's over. Now, Bill Cosby should know better than this. You don't say anything with a with a microphone on. But listen how dishonest this is, because now they're exp- spinning this. Look at Look at him. Look at how he's avoiding. Look at what's going on. Just so they can get clicks. Listen. I didn't want to. I have to ask about your name coming up in the news recently regarding this comedian. No, no, we don't answer that. Okay. I, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to respond at all about whether any of that was true. There's no response. Okay. Can I ask you if, with the, the persona that people know about Bill Cosby, should they believe anything differently about what? There is no comment about that okay and and i'll tell you why okay. i think you were told i i don't want to compromise your integrity but um we don't i don't talk about it as the interview wound down cosby then continued the conversation the camera was still running, and Cosby and his wife were wearing lapel microphones. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you. I appreciate your time. Thank now, you. Now, can I get something from you? What's that? That none of that will be shown. I. No, I can't do that. I've got a gold mine here. I can't promise that. I can't no, promise that. Somebody up above me. I know me. I didn't, you didn't say, say anything. anything. But I, I'm asking your integrity that since I didn't want to say anything. Okay, stop, 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 stop. What? How did I answer Katie Couric? How did I answer Katie Couric? Not going to answer that, Katie. Mm-hmm. But Glenn, but Glenn, but Glenn, not going to answer. It's already been answered a million times. <laughs> but Glenn, Katie, not going to answer that. No answer is enough. Yeah, it's nothing. It's enough. He even says to Cosby, you didn't even say anything. Why are you worried about yeah. what was on there? He's, he didn't even say anything. And listen to the technicality they use when he does the voice over there. The cameras were still rolling. and uh, They and were the wearing still on. lapel microphones. Uh, well, they thought the interview was over. It's obvious the way they're speaking. You know that, but, but your see, technicality is we never told them that we no, turned the cameras off. Here's their technicality. Here's their uh, technicality. We're not actually human. We're not human. You can't have a human reaction with me. You can't have a human interaction with me. You can't talk to me as a normal human being. You can't say to me, hey, can I just talk to you? This Our agreement was we weren't going to talk about that. Now, you violated that agreement. Now, can I get from you that that's not going to be aired? Well, let me do some backpedaling and blame it on somebody else. All I'm thinking about right now is how famous I'm going to be and get so many clicks. <laughs> yes. Oh, somebody else is probably going to say no, that I'm going to have to do that. Uh, man, I wish I could help you out, mister. What sad. a slime bag. That's that's yeah. sad. I mean, look. And I, they set it up like, listen to this when he thought the microphones were off. Listen to his tacit admission to he rape. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he didn't say anything. Here he he said, basically says he's been a serial rapist for 45 years. No. No, he, he didn't. Said no, he said no, nothing. He, he said, it's not He worth- said, hey, that was a really awkward exchange. We, we discussed not talking about it in the first place. Can you take that and out? And you violated. It you violated that. Yeah. You violated it. So now you've violated me twice. You want to talk about rape. That's that's media rape right there. You said you would not do that. Since when does your no mean yes? Do you know the definition of no, sir? Mm-hmm. You've just raped Bill Cosby. You said you wouldn't do it. You just did it. And then you blamed it on him. My gosh, maybe we should have a lesson on rape. And it's just such a sad situation where, uh, you know, look, we don't know what happened. And that's the point here is no one can possibly know what happened. And, and, we and, weren't and, there. We don't know. We have people coming out of the woodwork saying he did these terrible things. And if he did them, obviously, we all want him in really, prison. But really, uh, is, but this guy, is this guy is this guy really in it? Is he really curious because he's curious or is he curious because he wants to be the one that breaks the story? Oh, I want to get that son of a bitch, even though I don't really know him and I have nothing against him. I'm going to be the one that gets him. Yeah. Look at what they're doing. Look what they're doing. There's real news, Associated Press. The president said he couldn't do the things that he's going to do tonight. He said he couldn't do those things because it would over make and over and over him again. an emperor. What do you think? You mm-hmm. many, you, uh, Mr. President, did you mean you were a butterfly? 
Did you mean uh, an emperor butterfly? Is that what you meant? Because if you meant that you were a butterfly, that's that's breaking news. Because you're about to become a butterfly tonight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> 